What's going on you guys? My name is Rage and we are back now with the tech version here utilizing Pegasus for the new Incursion 2.1 raid. So we're gonna be going through the notes today using my team, but as you can see, the majority of the characters kind of similar boat with my uh, Incursion raid guy that I made on my Bifrost, which is typically most of these characters are actually geared tier 15, as you can see with uh, Iron Man Infinity War, Darkhawk and Iron Heart Mark II, but Rescue is geared tier 16 as well. Kestrel is kind of the equivalent of Val um, from my past video, which is, you know, she's going to be the core and engine of the team. Um, you should upgrade each and every one of her abilities because it's going to be very meaningful. And I find that having her with a raider is huge. In terms of a minimum T4 standpoint, though, uh, the big ones I do want to point out actually is going to be Rescue's ult. You're going to see this uh, activated so many times. Uh, sorry, uh, Rescue's passive here just because it also grants up, you know, the additional um, death energy that's getting granted to her. Um, the ultimate is definitely a must have because it grants the revive here with 60% HP. Um, definitely very important to be mindful of that. But as for the rest of the characters, in terms of the T4 standpoint, if you just want to make sure that you're going through the minimum nodes, um, we have the additional 30% damage gain granted here for the passive from Iron Man Infinity War. So this is pretty big. I also like his stun here. It's, uh, excuse me, the blind here because of the additional blinds for two two full turns. So getting this upgrade here is going to be allowing your team to really survive um, that we'll see in the attempt playthrough. We have the passive here with Darkhawk again, getting additional crit damage um, as well for him, his fellow team. So that's really meaningful, making sure that they have as much output as possible, but also applying offense up for two full turns. And that's a pretty meaningful amount. Um, you're going to see that synergy and then as well, just grant the energy all across the board. And then as for Ironheart Mark II, I really do like the passive here because um, there's going to be additional disruption and armor getting granted. So again, survivability, making sure that the team lasts longer. And also this is the one that should be the stun, right? Additional stun here for two full turns uh, with the ultimate. So really uh, many of these characters uh, alts as well as their passive should be upgraded. So that way this team can actually function as intended. So having said that, guys, uh, we haven't tried these nodes yet. Let's give it a shot here and see how we do. Now, unfortunately, my alliance mate already cleared up the boss node, so I'm not sure when we'll get another opportunity to do so. But good news is that if this team can get through the first two nodes, uh, you typically would have a really good shot at finishing up uh, the boss node. Anyways, I find that most issues actually come from the second node. So if we can do this today with the two nodes, I will link my um, my actual video guide for the raid full section um, from the previous um, difficulty so that way you guys if you just need to know the attack order that's still going to be around but yeah let's see how this does guys as you can see just shy of 1.2 million in total combat power but again uh it's gonna be kestro being that core and engine of the team uh really driving this team's success so let's see if this is still feasible in 2.1 incursion here so i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna start off usually with the special to the right because it adds a lot of damage um we want those defense downs and already from the get-go the gambit actually takes down one of my allies because they're just so squishy um being that that gear tier level right so definitely something to be mindful of we want these stuns to land ideally on gambit didn't work however but the good news is that whenever any of our allies fall um as noted earlier rescue is going to be getting that additional value in terms of additional energy uh we can rinse and repeat the revives likely here and with each and every one of our attacks too we also get additional energy so i'm not concerned about this i think no two is going to definitely be more interesting though so uh definitely great to see that this team is still feasible pegasus is just such a well-rounded team it's going to be uh, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens in the future when they do finally decide to you know add the new kind of tech nodes here or a, a new sort of raid um, it's gonna be a big climb in difficulty because Pegasus does exceptionally well even at lower levels as you can see um, and yeah it's gonna you know it's gonna be interesting to see what kind of team or format is gonna really stop us from progressing forward so I think the ability to block on uh, Noir is smart because he does a lot of damage in this node, so we definitely want to be very mindful of that. And now we are going to target that left side because ideally, uh, taking down Dazzler would be ideal here. Oh darn, didn't get a chance to actually hit anybody with defense down, so the attack was not able to stack. That's alright, we'll activate Scastrol Special once again on that left side. And then yeah, at least Noir has been cleaned up. We can get, can't get through this done, so you have to just attack security. But hopefully, yes, perfect. We do have the right timing here to land the ultimate. And this is why the passes uh, and the ultimate T4s are so important, guys. Because you can see just the synergy that we're getting here. The amount of debuffs. Uh, this is just straight up not even fair. And now we can just coast. You can honestly just basic this uh, because they're all blinded too. With the exception of Sunfire. But um, actually, let's see how hard he hits if he actually gets his turn. 
we are gonna you know what we're gonna actually activate the ultimate i am a little worried that he's gonna hit us hard so we're, we'll just do the stun there thankfully that actually landed and now we can get additional energy back so this is why it's so nice we can even use like an ultimate like that near the end of the of the node not worry about energy which is why this team shines exceptionally well so guys no no work whatsoever i don't know uh, we're going to have to see how Incursion 2.2 is because this is actually really easy. This is much more smooth, as you can see, um, less than three minutes to complete this, even with this low level, lower level team and um, really just driven by uh, Kestrel and, and rescues uh, Synergy with making sure that our allies survive, uh, barrier and revive and so forth. It's just nice to have that cushion, right? So this is kind of the problem out here. Let's take a look at this one. This is the double Omega Red, and it can one-shot our team. So that's why you definitely want to be mindful of this one. We need to make sure our debuffs land. And if you're finding that your attacks aren't landing, maybe time to switch maybe to a, uh, a Skirmisher to increase that focus. But we'll see how we do in the get-go here. So once again, uh, activating the special, get some buffs on Kestro, as well as the defense down, uh, landing on Absorbing Man. We're going to activate the Mass Ultimate there. Oh, nice. We actually did land... A, uh, a stun on file of L, so that definitely helps us but uh, what is problematic in this node as well is the initial wave here of cloak and dagger so you just got to be mindful of the buffs thankfully we do have a lot of immunity a lot of control and debuffs but um you just don't want that synergizing with the omega reds later that do drop so and as well what's frust what, what's frustrating is like this the cloak always seems to dodge everything so you really can't do much against them but what you can do is just try to target everyone around him and hopefully it hits him and, and if it does great um but yeah that's kind of what i'm doing right now i never target him directly i've wasted so many kind of ults on him with kestro and it just doesn't land so uh we always just try to trust the passive damage from everything else going on or if you can land an ability block here actually we did that so that actually surprisingly landed which is great now we we just prevented a wave of debuffs coming our way or damage, I guess, in this case, because we have the immunity. Um, and now we're just kind of getting ready here. We're getting ready here for the Omega Red Drop, because I think it's one more enemy that falls, and then they are going to spawn. So I'm going to activate the special. I, I really just love the AoE damage, the Raider. And plus, Kestrel is, again, the core and engine of this team. So we really want her to shine with as much damage as possible. And that is going to spawn, like I said, the Omega Reds. So we're going to go ahead. We need to see if we can ideally land an, oh, some sort of uh, debuff on them. They're going to have strong resistances with their defense up. So we're going to turn your rewind. But as you can see, guys, uh, we're just making such short work of this node. So um, it's unfortunate we don't have any kind of opportunity here um, to try the boss node. But um, maybe in the future when I get a chance. But my alliance mates are always on it. So I don't know when the next chance I'll get this is. But yeah, uh, if usually if you can get through node 2, uh, the the possible is not an issue you have the support of your alliance mates three other teammates on your team and as well um, just having uh, having such a strong synergistic Pegasus team like you can just see how short work we're making of this but if you guys are struggling with the boss node again I will link my uh, my original uh, guide video here on the previous rendition of the incursion so that way if you guys are just looking for an attack order uh, i'll definitely put that below so that way you guys can reference it but it's not gonna be an issue it's gonna be the exact same gameplay as you'll see on here this is more so an update video uh with the recurrent roster that i have right now and it's great to see that these gear tier 14 and 15 characters are still getting it done so there you guys have it uh, our pegasus version here of the tech notes um again Kestrel being really the, the lone character built up, as well as a gear tier 16. Rescue, all providing support for this gear tier 14, gear tier 15. Pegasus team, thank you for your time as always, you guys, and I will catch you in the next one.